Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And welcome to one of my uh, normal sort of rabbiting sort of uh, videos. Because tonight I'm talking about uh, physical media. And why I love it so much. And why I think it's the best way to sort of... Um, to to watch movies. Um, it's, it's something I've always been doing i mean since i was a young lad i first started collecting records you know when i was a young boy music was my thing before films um films were um back because I'm, I'm a 60s child so uh back in the 70s you only saw films in the the cinema um tv we had four channels we had bbc one bbc two itv and Angular, which was a, a part of ITV, but a more localised sort of area. And different areas have it, like Yorkshire TV would have theirs, etc. And that's all we had. And films were on, they were on, but they weren't sort of like the big sort of cinema releases. It was always things like carry-on films, or or if from, for me it would be my Hammer films. But all the big sort of films were all sort of cinema releases like um, um, Superman or, or, or whatever it was back in the day that we used to go Jungle Book. I remember going to see Jungle Book in the cinema and it was an event. It was an event to watch something. Um, but as I was saying, back then it wasn't possible to collect movies, but music was. So I started collecting records and, and that. But as I've got older, I progressed more into the, the film side of things, more than music. Although I've got a huge record and CD collection, uh, movies was my thing, uh, especially horror and science fiction films. And I've always, always go for physical. I never do... Um, um, sort of uh, streaming or streaming because to me that's throwaway uh, and it makes the the movie less of what it actually is because you have to remember a movie is a piece of art it's someone's adaptation of possibly a book of a story of a script it's it's someone who's taken the time to create this story uh, for us to appreciate and enjoy most of the time and it's 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 an art form in its own and i i i love to physical media because i feel i own a bit of that film um so whatever it is um 2001 uh space odyssey now i have a copy of this film here so i own a copy of that film so this film's history i'm a little bit a part of it because I, I i actually own a copy of that film that little silver beautiful disc in there be it dvd blu-ray 4k it's um it it means that little bit of history of of that making that film has been handed down to you and to own it so you actually own an actual copy of that film and to me that's just wonderful and there's nothing more special than that um you, you do and that, that that's why i rarely trade in any like like people like to trade in lots of films and stuff like that because to them films are still quite throwawayable to me they're not i, I rarely 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 trade in a film the only time I ever trade in a film is if I've got it twice. Um, I, I, it, because film to me is important. It's, like I said, it's an art form. If you've got a, a, a Monet on your wall, you wouldn't sell it or trade it in, would you? And so this is someone's piece of work. This is Stanley Kubrick's classic. You know, um, this is a, um, let's have a look. This is a modern horror, Abigail. You know, I mean, all these sort of films are someone's piece of work and, and they've and they've spent time and a lot of money to produce this piece of work for you and so I think it's really important to um, to sort of like appreciate that and I think buying the film rather than um, and owning the physical copy rather than just streaming it on some streaming service 
it pays more of a homage to that movie and that filmmaker and that company and those directors and those producers and those actors and the, and the, and the uh, photography crew. It pays more homage to them because you're thinking, yeah, what you've done is worth it. And um, I appreciate that. So, and I want to be a part of that history. I want to own a copy of that film. So then I can have that in my collection to watch any time I want. I've not got to wait for it to be on a streaming service. I've not got to wait for it to come up on television. I can watch it any time I want. Um, and that's why I really love physical media when it comes to movies. It's really, really important to me. Um, just because it does make me feel I'm a little bit of part of that movie's history because I own a copy of it. It's not anybody else's. That copy is mine. It belongs to me. You know, and that's and that, that's a great gift, isn't it? When you look back, like I said, when you look back at your childhood, when all you could see was like Jungle Book or um, uh, Superman or whatever, in, in E.T., whatever, in the cinema, that was the only place you could see them before, obviously, TV channels started to buy the rights to movies to put them on at Christmas times, and that was a, that was a special time as well. Um, but that was the only way you could see them, you would never ever dream of oh my god i would love to have that copy of superman you know yeah i would love to have the copy of that 2001 um space odyssey it was such a cool film so wow i just wish i could watch it and watch it and so buying it you, you've done it and also the money goes a little bit back into the industry which helps to to um produce it and sort of uh um, other projects or other releases so companies can release collector's editions say like uh, Santa Sangri things like that you know collector's editions now companies can only release these um, if they can financially do it and that requires um, the physical media collector and I think it's so important to the hobby um, to sort of like collect these movies because one day they'll be gone no one's going to remember ab absurd no one's going to remember um uh all these crazy films you know all these arrow films all these 88 films and all these sort of little budget italian films they'll all be gone you know and people think, what are you talking about you know because everything would have moved on and we'd just be inundated with streaming services um, so this is why the physical media, I think, is really important. Um, and I think because it, it makes these sort of films more accessible to watch. I mean, you can go on Netflix tonight or uh, anything like that, and you are not going to find on there the burning, you know, the incredible melting man. You know, you're not going to... Tarantula, um, all those sort of films, you're not going to find them on there. Yes, you will find Megan, you know, yes, you will find all that sort of films on there. But all these really little films that have been made with a passion from Italy, America, UK, whatever, you're not going to find them on your streaming services. Um, and so the, you, I, I know you've got some like Shudder and things like that will show horror films and things like that. But I'm talking about the generical ones. And I think um, a lot of these films get missed and don't get appreciated for what they really are. And it's simply because um, they, they don't think, oh, no one's going to watch it. Even classics, The Bridge on the River Kwai, it's not on the streaming service, you know. And so uh, Midnight Express... One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh, these are not non-horror film, classic films, but you, you can't see them unless you buy them. And that's where I think physical media is so cool. And my love for physical media started with records. Because when you bought an LP, you bought this 12-inch piece of art. And the, 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 the album cover was a piece of art. These these um, Blu-rays, DVDs or whatever, um, it's a piece of art, isn't it, you know? And so you're buying that, and you think, wow, that's really cool. But with obviously a movie, when you look up upon uh, the piece of art, 
you actually had the disc and you actually, like a record, you had a big black vinyl that played all these wonderful songs. And then you'd get these movies, okay, that have discs after discs after discs of, of movies and special features about the films. When you watch a film on Netflix, you can't sit and watch the making of it. You can't see the interviews of um, people behind the work. You can't um, listen to a, a audio and watch an audio commentary of somebody's um, a view and, and memories of making that movie. You can't do that. And even some films like um, The Slayer and Pieces, films like that, have a cinema recording on the disc where you can hear the audience um, sort of laughing at the funny bits and or clapping at the, the kills and stuff like that you don't get that on streaming services but you get them on physical media so it makes them more unique and special and it makes your movie night more of an event like I spoke to you when um, I, I was talking about silent movies once um, about how silent movies some people can foresee them as boring and I said to the person that's because you're watching it at the wrong time you uh, if you're watching it in the middle of the day with daylight coming through you're gonna be distracted because a silent movie requires your attention and the only way it's going to get that is set in the environment for that so a nice dark room at night you know, and it, and it sort of immerse yourself into that, and and that's another thing. These silent movies, you're not going to get them on a streaming service, and so physical media is so important for the movie history. Movie history will die off if it wasn't for physical media you would not be able to get a load of these Italian horror films or the Spanish horror films or these silent movies, the German silent movies or anything like that. You wouldn't be able to get them or see them if it wasn't for physical media. And so when you, when you actually buy one and you own a copy of it, you're a part of that film's history because you now own a copy of that movie and you can watch it, you can show it to friends, you know, and your friends can maybe go out and purchase a copy, whatever it is, like for me, I do my reviews on my channel, hoping that um, some of them, you might think, wow, that sounds really interesting, you know, a lonely place to die or whatever, that sounds really interesting, and I think I'd quite like to watch that, and, you know, so there's, it's all evolving, and to keep that moving, I think the physical media is where it's important. Like I said, when it's streaming, it's throwaway um, entertainment because you can watch something on there and then forget about it. You know, uh, Stranger Things, whatever. I'm not saying they're not they're not good. Some things are great on the streaming services, but you forget about them. You know, but you get a physical copy of it. You can return to it, return to it, and own it, and have that sort of relationship with the film. Because you own a copy of it, you feel that relationship with the film. You think, yeah, you know, I, I will enjoy this film because I own a copy of it. And I'm going to sort of study it a little bit and find little things that I've not seen before because I can watch it over and over, not move on to the next thing or whatever. You know, it's it, it, it's a wonderful thing. And I think um, when people talk about physical uh, media will, will eventually die, I hope not. I, I just think that would be um, the wrong thing to do. I mean, LPs and records are sort of proving that things do come around again. So I'm, I'm hoping that things... I mean, actually, we've actually had a few releases this year of movies onto VHS, which is a, a strange thing. So people do like to to sort of go retro and look back so I, I see physical media still being around um, the problem is with it is that it's getting pricey um, a lot of films like uh, you know a blu-ray now uh, can be 
20 pounds on release which may not sound a lot but if you're wanting to buy a number of movies you know it it, it does add up as a price you know um and it can be a costly hobby and that can put people off but they're all they resort to the second hand market um cx or ebay which i get and i do occasionally get to it i try to pick films up there that are out of print you know i don't i wouldn't go there and buy a copy of megan you know because if i wanted that i'd buy a new one because that's generally cheap but i can understand why people go over drawn to that second hand one the problem is with that excuse me a lot of the time you're not getting what you're paying for I mean, I bought once online from CEX a collector's, the collector's edition of uh, pieces because they released a three disc one and there were bits missing from it. The, the, the discs arrived, but the the the, um, the poster wasn't there, the slip case wasn't there, other bits that were supposed to come, but there was supposed to be a, a, a puzzle with it, that wasn't there. So you're not getting the complete thing unless you're lucky enough to be in the store and actually ask to see it before you actually buy it so uh so that could be one of the downfalls of the physical media but that's the risk and the gamble you take in it and if it's something you really want in your collection um and i i love looking over at my collection i don't have the map the biggest horror collection you know i see horror hands and he's dedicated a whole room <laughs> to just like shelves wall to wall shelves you know of of movies well, mine is just one long wall um but i'm happy with it and i love looking over at it thinking yeah i like every film on that shelf i bought that film for a reason there's not one film there i don't really not like you know because i oh, I don't just buy any old film, by the way. I don't just think, oh, that's going to be a horror film, you know, uh, the the killer custard creams or whatever. Um, I, I, I wouldn't buy that. I, I would only buy films because I know I would like it or I've seen credible reviews from people that I trust reviews like Mark Commode and people like that or I've seen it um, or it's a part of a, a, an ongoing story franchise then I will purchase them. So I don't just buy any old film. Um, he says that as he's going to be collecting the shameless films. Um, just because I want a complete collection of, of one company's releases in my in my collection. I just think, yeah, do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I've not brought any more. Um, or have I? No, I haven't. I haven't bought any more since my little video on that. Um, but we'll be doing some reviews on some of them. Um, and I'll pick bits up as I go along uh, if I get them for a good price. Um, but yeah, it's 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 an interesting way and it's a more enjoyable way to watch films. I think by owning it, by being a part of that film's history. You may think, what are you talking about being a part of its history? Well, the the film was made years ago. Okay, this is an old film. Yeah, so it was made a long long time ago. And your director has made it to be seen by generation after generation after generation. And now we have the opportunity to own a physical copy of the film, like, a, like your own little cinema. You've got your own cinema library there. Then you own a copy of it. It's yours. No one can take it away from you. You know, you are the projectionist. Of this movie in your house um, so you can watch it you can turn it off and come back to bits of it you know it's so you become a little bit a part of that film's history because that film was made for cinema it went on to cinema it probably had a few TV viewings and then when physical media came out uh, VHS it put in laser disc it would have had a release and through history it's gone down the lines of formats. So DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. And picking one of the copies up of one of those films makes you a little part of that history of that film. 
and it's really cool to feel that and it gives you that like i said the relationship between yourself and that film becomes um more uh bonded and, and you feel more attachment to a movie and that's what makes you want to engross into the movie and go back to it and watch it again and feel proud to actually have it in your collection you know sometimes i go out and i've bought a films like when i picked up um the flesh for frankenstein I was so glad to get that in my collection because it's been a title I've been after for a long time, long, long time, and it finally got a, um, a release that was affordable for me, and so I picked it up, and I'm so proud to own a copy of that film. Dead Man's Shoes, whatever it is, you know, you, you just got to think, I own a copy of that movie. How cool is that? 